welcome back to an unboxing or K-pop haul more like. I got quite a few things from the post office today. We have a we have an envelope. We have I think this is my uh, Japonica package. Then this is an album I got in a group order, and this is my Neokyo package, which I have a lot of cards. So let's get right into it. I'm starting with the smallest thing. All right, we have this envelope. I actually have zero idea what exactly is in here, so. Let's just open it up and see. This is coming from Hong Kong, so... I remember buying from someone in Hong Kong, but I do not remember what I bought. So we'll see. And what I bought for one is the... One of the last two... Um, Junkyo photo cards I was missing for chapter one. Um, so this is this photo card. And I bought the boys Eric photo... Oh. Excuse me. This is the boys Eric photo card. So there is that. This is a fan sign card. And since I actually already bought one from her, I thought I'd just get it because it was really cheap. So we have those. Then I'm going to open up the um, Japonica one. There's quite a few exciting things in that one. Okay, wait, there's an opening here. I'm always like unable to open these things up there we go so this is my stuff from the japonica package i um did um there should only be nct stuff in here actually or maybe one other group but i'm, I'm pretty sure it's only nct so first off we got this little handery sticker which is very cute that's from like resonance part two and i've got a lot of cards <laughs> let's see so i'm just gonna unpack it real quick so there's a few cards i bought for nct which i'm technically not collecting but they were really decent prices and i have a problem with nct that i kind of want to collect them like ot23 I'm not gonna do it, I promise here right now, I'm not gonna collect OT23, but since I saw some cards were pretty cheap, I've decided just go ahead and like purchase them. So we are starting off with this Chandler. Um, this is, I think, a Kino card, actually. Um, I will have to double check, but I'm pretty sure most of these are Kinos, because there's like the fat writing on the bottom, and I think the normal cards only have it on the top, or is it the other way around? I'm actually not sure, but I think this is Chandler's Kino. If not, I'm going to correct myself on the screen, but this is what the back looks like. Then we have this Chandler, which is the past version, which I also think is the other Kino. So I think we're good. I know for sure this is a Kino, but I'm not sure if this is one. This could also be actually just an album card. But I'm 100% certain this is a Kino card for Chandler and it's super pretty so I wanted it and I bought it. The next thing I have is Chao Jun and I adore his hair so I really had to get one card and this was such a pretty card. Um, it's also Kino I'm pretty sure. So we do have that. And then I have, let me take these. We have these two handery cards, which I love his pink hair, same reason why I bought Chao Chun. And um, they're both from Resonance Part 2. And I think they are Kinos, but please do not quote me on this either. <laughs> so um, I think they're both Kinos though. And then I got, because I'm an absolute fool, um, I got this Kun card, because I love Kun. If I wanted to, I probably would collect him as my second favorite uh, Wavy member. But I kind of don't want to collect more review members because their cards are difficult to find. But I adore Kun and this card was super cheap. This is also a Kino card for him. So yeah, we love, love, love these cards. They are super pretty. Actually, if it's wrong, please correct me. But yeah, that's the ones I've gotten from Japonica. Now um, I need some space because I'm unpackaging an album. <laughs> Okay, so I joined this group order for a new group I pretty much adore. Um, I really, really like the debut, so I've decided to, as of now, collect my top two if I can. So first off, we got posters. I guess I'm not gonna show them, but 
The group is Kingdom. I guess people may know them already. They had a pretty, pretty popular debut actually. And I adore their concept, so I really wanted to go ahead and do it. And this is the group order miniature I joined on Instagram. And yeah, I did join with one album. But for the Mixed Up Part 2, I participated again and got two more albums. So I hope to pull the members I actually need because I didn't pull them in this one or got them in this group order. Um, that is what it, oh, oops. This is what it looks like. It looks super pretty. I love the design. It's like super simple, but super like elegant kind of. Um, I enjoyed the full album, um, but the title track is my favorite actually this time. Doesn't happen often that I have an album where the album title track is my favorite song, but in this case it actually is. And I did join the Make Star Go, so this is the Make Star Part 1, and I'm quickly gonna show you what I pulled. I already know my pulls, so I can just show them to you, I guess. And I'm going to do a quick flip through for you guys if you didn't see it yet. Um, I'm not doing an unboxing. Um, oh yeah, I guess I can kind of say who my bias is. Here he is. This is Mujin, he is my bias. Here, you can see him again. He's absolutely gorgeous. And my second favorite member is Arthur, which I don't know where he's at. Oh, wait, I saw him. That is Arthur. So that's my two favorite members, the ones I wanna collect. My third favorite member is Dan, so I'm not sure yet. But yeah, for the album card, I got help. I can't pick him up. <laughs> I got Chiwu. That is his card. And then I do have the two Make Star cards I pulled and, or I got in the group order and I got Arthur, which look at his card. This is so cute. So we have this. And I think this is Ivan, but please don't quote me on this. I'm still kind of learning, but these are the Make Star pulls I had. And then we can over go over onto my new cube package, which has so many cards. Oh my gosh. Oh Jesus, there is a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to take off all of the papers with my names on it, but I don't want to have that in the video, but after that I'm going to show what I bought. It's a lot, I'm just gonna warn you. All right, I finally managed to get all of them out and um, yeah, I bought a lot the last month. Um, so I kind of do, at the beginning of each month, I kind of look on Macari, what I want to buy, and then I make a huge package. This, this is like, um, around 50 to 60 cards. Um, most of it is actually Astro because my Jinjin collection is in here. So we're just gonna go through what I bought. So first off, I have both of Jinjin's bookmark for Blue Flame. So that's the first thing I have. I have one of Jinjin's gateway cards. This is the another story one, I think. It doesn't say. Um, this is actually an album card. This came in a set I bought, so I do have it and it is absolutely adorable. Then we have this Jinjin from uh, Summer Vibes. Then I have this Jinjin from Gateway. This is the other version of, uh, what is it? This one. Then I have one of Jinjin's Spring Up photo cards. I have one of Jinjin's Winter Dream photo cards. I have one of Jin Jin's Doom Part 1 photo cards. Please focus. Thank you. I have an Autumn Story one. I think I have this like three times. I'm gonna see in a second. I have the other Summer Vibes one. And I do have another Autumn Story one. Okay, now we're coming on to another group for a second. Um, I bought Chani's full like ticket set because I really liked his cards for this era. I did say I won't collect um, Chani and Q for this comeback, but I really really liked his photo cards. I'm not the biggest fan of Q's, which was oh oops another reason why I ended up deciding not to collect my top three and just Eric. But yeah, oh also <laughs> another group um, for Voice to the Future, I think it's called for Victims' newest album. Um, I'm not collecting Sejun's cards, I'm collecting the voice cards for OT7 sets instead because I'm not the biggest fan of the photo cards, to be honest, and they're just too expensive for me. Um, I would buy them if they were cheaper, even though I'm not the biggest fan, but since they're kind of expensive and hard to find, and I'm not a big fan of them, I don't see the point in buying it. So I'm just going to be collecting these for all members. I do have Hans's set here. They're super cute. 
and we're going back to uh, Astro. I have a, the one of the one and only limited Jinjin cards. I still need the other ones. I've had that. Let me know. I have this. Oh wait, I do have the full set for this. So let me just get it out out of the pile. Okay, I have all four cards for Blue Flame for Jinjin. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Then I do own all of the lenties for um, Chani as well. That's these. I'm going to show them real quick because they're super difficult to see. It's, I don't know, a bit unfortunate, I guess. But you can see them. So this is one. That's the other one. And we have this one. Okay, back to Astro. I didn't sort them as you can see, I just threw them all on a, pi on a pile. Um, I do have this Jin 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 Part 2 Wind version photo card. I do have this other Winter Dream photo card for Jin Jin, this complete Winter Dream. I have a Dream Part 1 Night version photo card. And the other Spring Up photo card, which completes Spring Up. I also own the character card for Summer Vibes, which means Summer Vibes is also done. We have both of the transparent cards for Dream Part 1, so this is the day, this is the night version. Um, then we're on to uh, Victon again. I do have Chan's set for him as well. And we have, oh wait, this is the one and only like booklet thing and this is Jinjin's. I do have Rocky's and MJ's, so I actually do have all three. But I'm not collecting Rocky for this photo card set because those are super hard to find. Then the last victim cards I think I have in here are the Byung-chan photo cards as it said. And we I think only have Jinjin left. Yeah we do. So I do have both of his Polaroids for Dream Part 1. This is the Wish, this is the Wind version. Then I do have an extra of this because it came in a set I bought. So if you want this, let me know. I have this Dream Part 2 photo card from the Wish version. I do have this Dream Part 1 photo card for the day version. Focus, I think. Is it focusing? I don't know. We have this Dream Part 2. It's also wind, I think. Yeah, it is. That completes the wind version. And this photo card completes the Wish version. And with that, the full Dream Part 2 album. This is the other Wish version photo card. Then I do have his one of his ID actually wait at both at both of his IDs for Autumn Story. I think the suit one is the orange one and the this one here is the red one, but don't quote me on this. And we only have three cards left. Wow, that went by faster than I thought it would. This is um his red autumn story set. Oh wait, actually not. Oops. <laughs> I thought this was his red autumn story set, but there's two of the same one, so I have a duplicate that I'm going to be selling or trading. And then the other orange. I think there is another duplicate somewhere in here. But this is it for full cards and for like K-pop related stuff. But I do have more. So I mentioned it in another video. But I'm a super huge figure skating uh, fan. And um, I adore Yuzuru Hanyu. Who is um, a Japanese figure skater. And there's a lot of his stuff on Makari. Just because he is Japanese. So it's quite easy. And I found a lot of things very super cheap. Like a, a lot. So I bought those as well. Um, I want to put these at the back because I know not a lot of people are like interested in that. But maybe if someone is, you can see something. Um, I just bought things I thought looked good. Um, and they are all like A4 style. So like kind of folders, I guess. I'm going to try and hold it like this. So this is the first one. These are from Lotte, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, as you can see, they are like used as folders, but I'm going to put them like this in my binder. Then we have this one. They all have like a signature, which is why I bought them. They are super pretty. And we have this one, which is my favorite one. It's absolutely adorable. So that's those three. And then I bought a huge pack. So this is set. It's like the absolute cutest things I've ever seen. So I really had to get these. And there's like 10 of them, so they were really cheap. I bought them for really cheap. So we are starting off with this one. I think I have to like lay them down so that they kind of fit in. They are A4, so they should fit in my binder though. So we have this one. We have this one. There is a super pretty one in here. 
Um, we have this one, which look at him, his smile is so cute. And we have one where he's eating ice cream. The one where he's kind of like sleeping, I guess. Oh, that's a bit. This one is super pretty. I adore this one. He looks so cozy. And we have, I think, like only two or three more. Yeah, this is the same one. There was a duplicate in it. I don't mind though. I'm going to put both in my binder. And this one. This one is so freaking cute. Look at him. This is also a duplicate, but I do not mind at all. This is the cutest thing I've seen. So I really had to, hard to get it. And since this was like a really cheap package, I just decided to get all of them. I did see that there were duplicates in it, but honestly, I don't mind. So yeah, I do have quite a few things here for Yuzuru, which is adorable. I love him, so... Okay, <laughs> that was everything. It kind of fits into... Okay, wait, we only see Yuzuru, but that's okay. Thank you a lot for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and until my next video, which will be 100% beer storing photo cards, because... I think I have around 90 full cards lying around right now, which I really need to get out of the way. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next video. Bye bye.